guys, what is up? Redpen Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be BIOS modding my RTX 3080 Ti, and specifically, it is an NO3D iChill X3 3080 Ti. And some of you guys may remember this GPU that I reviewed a couple months ago, and I have an issue with it where it seems to be core locked or something from the factory. Uh, the BIOS won't let me go past like a certain number and I can only get up to like 72 to 74 mega hash. It, it, it fluctuates all the time, but yeah, I can't get, you know, the theoretical 85 or 90 mega, mega hash on this 3080 Ti currently. So there is a potential BIOS update that I want to attempt on this GPU and we're going to see how it goes and uh, I'm going to go through it with you guys step by step. Should be pretty easy. We're going to do it within Hive OS. And before I do that, I want to thank Mr. Crypto Donkey Miner. Just subscribe to him. I got a video recommended uh, to me as uh, he did a video December 7th called RTX 3080 Ti Hash Rate Fix. And I, I did it. I did what he mentioned and he was referring to a Reddit post, which I'll have linked down below about uh, this was posted a month ago. I can't believe I didn't see this, but it says EVGA 3080 Ti XE3 hidden power limit. This is the issue that I'm having with this NO3D 3080 Ti where he says here he was doing the above. Uh, he was able to get 66 mega hash initially unlocked, right? But then after he uh, BIOS mod it, he went up to 80, right? So it <laughs> looks like that worked doing the BIOS mod and uh, going it through Windows, actually. I think he explains here that you should do it through Windows, but I'm gonna be trying it through Hive OS, all right? So through the overclocking tab, uh, we're gonna we're gonna do all these steps here, okay? So thank you, Crypto Donkey Miner. Thank you for this, my friend. Just subscribed. And guys, go subscribe to him down below. I have a link down below. I wanna see him over 5,000, 10,000 subscribers as he does, I think he's the best like LHR content creator out there. He, he covers a lot of different LHR stuff for different miners, very thorough on all different 30 series cards. So awesome stuff, Crypto Donkey Miner. Thank you so much, man. All right, let's go, guys. So I want to download the the BIOS that this guy is talking about. And there was a link, which uh, Donkey Miner mentioned as well, uh, on Tech Power Up. Okay, so it was a uh, post down right here from Mr. Matt Helm 644 22 days ago as a recording. So I clicked on this, right? I clicked on it, and then it went to the Tech Power Up. Uh, EVGA RTX 3080 Ti 12 gigabyte BIOS. It says here you are viewing an unverified BIOS file, but that doesn't matter. We're gonna download it anyway. So scroll to the bottom, we're gonna hit download and uh, I'm just gonna keep it in my downloads folder. All right, so that's there. Next step that I wanna do is I wanna download the, the BIOS, the original BIOS from the 3080 Ti that I have mining right now, the NO3D, right? So what I'm gonna do in HiveOS, since I have this rig in HiveOS, I'm gonna stop it. And then I'm going to go to overclocking tab and we're going to download the, I guess, the stock uh, VBIOS. All right. So uh, you're going to hit that. And then, yeah, the 3080 Ti. Hit download. And it should come up as a link to click on it and download it. And I'm going to just keep it in my downloads folder. Uh, definitely, you guys should keep it in a safe place. And there we go. So here is the download. You should see it like this. We're just going to simply click on it and a prompt should come up to let us download it or save it in the downloads folder so it looks like it's taken a little bit yeah there we go and we're just gonna simply save it and wherever you guys like right keep it in a good place okay so that's downloaded now so the rig is stopped it's not mining so that's good we're gonna go back to overclocking we're gonna go back to flash v bios all right so we just did the download one now we're gonna go to flash v bios and uh, I forgot to mention, you guys, do this at your own risk, okay? This may brick your 3080 Ti. Do it at your own risk. And don't blame me. Don't come to me if uh, you brick it, all right? And uh, I think the Reddit post also mentions that as well. And also uh, Crypto uh, Donkey Miner also mentioned that in his 3080 Ti video. So I I'm going to have to mention that just a disclaimer. Anyways, we're going to now go to the VBIOS ROM file. So we're going to choose the one that we downloaded from Tech Power Up which is this one here, 236371. Uh, click on that, click on open. Okay, that's selected. Now we're gonna go to the GPU index here and choose the 
3080 Ti. Make sure you choose that correct one. And I'm also going to click on force flashing, ignoring security checking. Then we're going to hit upload. And this is going to BIOS mod that card. Okay, so I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Risky stuff. This is risky stuff. Okay, so don't touch anything. Just leave it here. I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, we're going to come back until it changes uh, the message here, guys. So meanwhile, while that's going, I just want to mention, if you guys are watching this right now, there is a massive giveaway I'm going to be doing in a live stream tomorrow, December 11th on Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Okay, we're giving away about $8,000 worth of OctoMiner cases and swag and everything. Uh, we're giving away uh, X12 Ultra high spec rigs, two of them, X8 Ultra server cases, and then another X2 X8 Ultra plus rigs. Okay, plus a bunch of OctoMiner swag bags, 10 of them, and that's going to be really fun. And at the beginning of that stream, OctoMiner is going to be removing the minimum order quantity of five to one. All right, so for those that wanted to order one, just one, you guys can do so and it'll only last for three days until midnight uh till december 12th all right so and there's a 50 dollars coupon code coming during the live stream so guys stay tuned for the live stream on my youtube channel just go to my channel and you should see upcoming live streams that uh yeah that's going to be happening live you have to be there live in order to win okay so read the rules contest rules down below i'm not going to read it in this video but anyways let's go back to hive os here and it said ROM flashing okay now reboot. All right, so I will, yeah, you wanna reboot the rig. So we're gonna go at the top here, power actions and reboot. There we go. And now we're just gonna, we're gonna wait for it. And so I did not have, uh, the, the clocks that I had here were the ones that I, I did for my 3080 Ti to get 74 mega hash. I did try uh, Crypto Donkey Miner's uh, overclocks, okay, 1200 core, 2600 memory. So we're going to do that right now. Actually, we're going to do that after. I want to see what hash rate we can get and then uh, with my minus 200 and 2000. And then if that's not good, then I'm going to apply the uh, Crypto Donkey Miner's hash rate because uh, overclocks because I want to see what the difference is. But when I applied his like at with my stock BIOS, my original BIOS, 1200 core, absolute core clock and 2600 memory, the uh, the hash rate dropped. It dropped to like 68, 69 mega hash for me. OK, so anyways, uh, looks like the rig is booting up. All right. So, yeah, a few seconds ago. So we're going to let that go. It's been about a minute or 39 seconds. And look at this. We're getting 89 mega hash now. Oh my God. This is crazy, but at 312 watts. But this is the overclocks that I'm using, which is not right. It's not good, but this is a good sign. I have not been able to get this number before on this 3080 Ti. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply Crypto Donkey's overclock, absolute core clock settings here, 1200 core, 2600 memory. So let's just do this uh, live right now. So let's go here. We're gonna go the, just the singular overclock tab here. We're gonna go 1200 and 2600 memory. I'm gonna keep the fan the same because where I'm mining right now in the basement, it's it's getting hot, and it looks like it's at 87 mega hash now. But it's gonna it's gonna take a bit. It's gonna take a bit. So we should see a drop in power consumption. Okay, and so I'm just gonna let that go for a little bit longer. Oh man, this is this is really amazing. Crypto Donkey, just thank you again, man. Guys, please go subscribe to him. Really appreciate. It. He's got amazing videos about LHR. Very in depth like about every single gpu overclock settings even in windows it, just a bunch of stuff this guy is awesome really really good stuff crypto donkey miner thanks again man okay all right guys let's keep refreshing this and yeah looks like we dropped 286 watts now from over 300 so that is a good sign and i'm guessing we should hit over 90 mega hash soon so we're at 88 right now. You know what? Let's just give it a bit. It's probably just auto tuning right now. Okay. It's been just a couple minutes and it looks like, yeah, we're at 91 mega hash now on this, uh, on this 3080 Ti. This is, this is crazy. I mean, the efficiency though, it's, I mean, if we're comparing it to other GPUs, it's, it's not great, right? I'd, I'd probably rather buy a, a 3090 but uh obviously the prices of those are insane i mean even 3080 ti prices are insane right now so obviously this is just for mining ethereum now actually now that i think about it since i did the video of the 3080 ti the no 3d which was 
which was gimped i knew it was gimped at the factory the bios now that we've updated the bios we're gonna try uh, i'm gonna remake the video and we're gonna compare the hash rates that i got before or something and uh, you know do all the different hash rates even for ravencoin because i think i was hindered on ravencoin as well with the stock bios that i had but now that we bios modded it it should be much better so wow this is yeah we're getting over 90 mega hash now on this 3080 ti uh, we're using t-rex miner uh, you guys can see i'm mining on uh unminable eth hash uh you know i'm just uh mining a little bag of uh shiba inu and uh, link down below if you guys want to try it out on unminable it's pretty easy there's a how-to on their website but anyways again thank you to crypto donkey miner for this fix that i i just didn't see i haven't heard of it that uh i knew there was a bios update but i i, I didn't chance it i didn't want to do it because i didn't want to break my gpu but you guys saw i did it through hive os here and again disclaimer you you may break it okay just it's a it's a big risk if you're going to be doing this bios modding through hive os uh, even I think I saw people talking about on, on that Reddit thread that they did it in Windows and it bricked as well. So I guess it's not safe to do it either way in HiveOS or Windows. Just just be careful. I don't know which GPU brands are okay to do this on. Okay, so that's another that's another thing to be to be wary of. So uh yeah, this one I did was on a NO3D uh, X3 3080 Ti. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one and see you tomorrow in the Octominer live stream for the giveaway. $8,000 worth of cases and swag. Peace, guys. Peace.